huge day for Oregon Transit as the long-awaited Orange Line opens for the very first time. Some say it was 25 years in the making. The highly anticipated Orange Line was unveiled today to the public and allowed many people to cross the new Tillicum Crossing for their first time. Eileen Park has the latest. The Orange Line is now open and ready for business. And I couldn't help but feel that history was being made. It was a symbolic moment. The new Orange Line slowly moving side by side with the Confederate tribes of Grand Ronde over the brand new Tillicum Crossing for the very first time. The only one of its kind in the country. Governor Kate Brown is talking about the Tillicum Crossing. She says it's unique because no cars are allowed on it. Hopefully, we'll reduce traffic congestion on the east side. Do you think it will? Yes, definitely. No question about it. Officials say the Orange Line runs 7.3 miles from Portland State all the way to North Clackamas County. And today, people were able to ride it all day for free. It's pretty gorgeous. It's a beautiful day and great structure. Turns out the project was finished on time and under budget. The total budget for the project was $1.49 billion and we're about 48 to $50 million under budget. If you were one of the lucky ones checking out the line today, it was packed, perhaps a sign of things to come as government leaders expect more than 400,000 people to flood the region in the next 20 years. Our city is definitely growing, so this is very forward thinking. And this project will offer people some great alternatives, new connections to jobs, education, uh, all the activities of life. Also, to find out the route it takes and other interesting facts about the Orange Line, just head over to coin.com. In Portland, Eileen Park, Coin 6 News.